What's up, peeps? Another episode of the Frankie Knuckles Show. Uh, before we begin, as you might know, make sure you, your buddies, tell everybody, your friends, your mom, dad, I don't really care who it is. Subscribe, give me some likes, always give comments, let me know what you think. If you have a video you want to see, uh, maybe a tutorial, whatever it might be, post it up, I'll do my best. December 12th, it's coming soon, six days. I'm giving this bad boy away. It's the new modified DJI transmitter with the wheel and the lock toggle and the uh, uh, training port in the back. It's real simple, just subscribe, like my videos, let me know what you think, and you're entered for this. In addition, on December 20th, we're giving this bad boy away. This is what this video is about. How to test your motors. Uh, a lot of people uh, have their own uh, formulas on testing motors. I'm going to show you a better way to do it. A more accurate way. This is a laser tachometer, a laser photo tachometer. It tests the RPM speeds of the motor. Subscribe again and like. Tell your buddies. I don't care who it is. Get yourself subscribed and get yourself entered in winning this. One random lucky winner on December 20th will be drawn for a free laser tachometer. What comes in the box is real simple. Oh, just lost one. You get some reflective tape and you get your meter. Uh, and it's, ba it's a real simple meter and I'll show you how to test. As you can see the little laser and it gives you an LCD screen. Um, in this series I'm going to show you how to use that in testing your Phantom motors. Alright fellas, so here's what we're going to cover. We're going to, as you may know, this Phantom took a crash. Uh, I hit a building about 100 feet in the air, uh, bounced off and then landed on concrete. Uh, got some damage to two of the motors uh, because that's just how it fell. And I wanted to cover a video because a lot of people what they'll always say when you have problems, you know, or, you know, ways to test is after you're done flying, you can grab the motors and feel them for heat in any motor that might feel exceptionally hot might indicate that a motor's on its way out or going bad. Uh, and that's all fine and good if you don't have, you know, an obvious tachometer for RPMs. In this case, I do. And on, like I mentioned, December 20th, we're giving one away. So make sure you subscribe. Tachometer gives you an RPM, which stands for revelations per minute or rotations, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's all fine and good. So I'm going to show you in this episode how we're going to test the motors with some more accuracy. Um, in my case, I crashed mine, but a lot of mistakes a lot of people make are the prop guards. The prop guards, I have to quick connects. And I'll put a link here on where I got them. I believe it was Atlantic Hobby, and I'll verify that. Um, a lot of people don't have the prop guard quick connects, and they'll take the screws, which are much larger than your normal phantom screws that are underneath here, and they'll bolt the prop guard up with these large screws. For example, you don't want to use these large screws uh, unless you're bolting the prop guard up. The mistake a lot of people make is when they take the prop guards off to go fly, they still use the large screws. Obviously not this size, I'm just playing the game. And they'll bolt this up like so, and this bolt goes right up into the motor. And then they wonder why they damaged their motor and possibly burn it out or grind all the gears inside and just wreck the motor. So, let me show you what the real uh, screw looks like. Hold on. Let me grab the real screw. All right, almost got it. There you go. That's what the real screw looks like for the prop guard, uh, the props, uh, or the casing, I should say, underneath the motor. That's the actual size of the screw that you should be replacing uh, the larger prop guard uh, screws that come with most props. Always save those screws. All right, now let's talk about uh, the RPMs. The DJI motors themselves are the 2218 motor, and they have a max RPM of about 
212 RPM. The formula to determine that is the battery's voltage, which in this case, the smart battery is 11.1 V that you can see right there, times the motor power. And the motor power is uh, 920 kV, which gives you a total of 10,212 uh, RPMs. Here's how we're going to test our motors in a simple form you could use what you're going to want to do is when you get your um, RPM machine or your, your tachometer most will come with what's called a reflective tape you should the book says cut a, about a half an inch I used about an inch I taped it onto the props on all four props uh, get yourself an old pair of props it doesn't really matter don't use the new um, because you don't want to fly with this uh, with the tape on. These are just for testing purposes only. I have new props so I'm not worried. These are a little worn. They've been used a lot so I'm just going to use them for testing purposes only. So do not fly with the tape on it. Uh, get yourself a reflective tape, cut a half inch, put it on all four corners or actually all, yeah, all four. Don't put it on. You could if you wanted to put it on both sides. I just put it on one. What I'm looking for is more so consistency with all four motors and I'm going to show you that by turning on the Phantom. Turn on your transmitter, your range extender, press once and then hold by pressing again and then your Phantom will start up. You don't have to worry about GPS mode or any of that. The tachometer has two buttons on it. There's a test and then there's a memory because it will store the memory of its last reading, its most highest reading, and its lowest reading. Um, and it's real simple, you just press this test button and then you'll get a red light. Now, here's how this works. You see the reflective tape, right? When you hit test, you get the laser. You'll see this laser right here. This laser you want to point right at the edge of the prop while it's spinning and let it spin and stay as steady as you can you know maybe six seven inches away from it like so and just let it spin and what will happen is you will get an RPM reading um, as I mentioned it the maximum is about 10,212 I think the hover state and the hover states when the phantoms in the air and just kinda doing its thing is roughly around six seven thousand rpm but don't quote me on that my phantom at a, an idle state runs at around 3700 um, and you'll see that on my tachometer now what you're looking for again is consistency say these three motors are running at like 3750 but the fourth one back here is running at like 2000 well then clearly there's an issue here and you might want to address the motor or the, the ESC uh, because something's faulty or something's on its way out. So now we're going to begin the test. I'm going to start the motors up. I'm going to leave it in idle mode. I'm not going to rev the motors. And then uh, we're going to start our test and you'll see the results. <laughs> now you can't see it in the, in probably in the video, but right here at this edge is where the prop is right around here between these two points is where the tape is now what you're going to want to do like I said about six seven inches away from the prop press your test button here and let it shine and you'll see it's an upside down value but this prop is running at 3800 and like 50 rpm okay at an idle state now you can test it by checking the next prop same process press it like so get it towards the end part of the prop and hold it and this one is running at around hold on let me get a little more accurate I'm trying to hold it steady and give it to you this one's running around 35 let me move it over a little more there we go Okay, 
This one's running in the ballpark of 35. This one was running at 38. My back one is running approximately 36, 37. And my last one, which is here, is running approximately 37. So we have 37, 37. We have 35 here, which is running a little slow. And you have 38 here. So you got 37, 37, 38, and 35. Um, this, part of the, this part of the motor took a hit, so it's a little on the lower side. Also note, when testing, I'm going to shut the motors off. <laughs> you really, and I'm not right now, but you really want to have your Phantom on the level as possible foundation and go get yourself a level because if your phantom is slightly off it could cause other motors to fire up a little faster to offset the the slant that the, the phantom might be on so get yourself a little level and make sure that the ground here that you put it on is perfectly level and then do your RPM test and at that point make your determination now me I'm going to replace these motors I already have replacements um, so I determined that, but this tool is a really great tool to to be able to test on the fly. It's lightweight, durable. Uh, it's within a 0.05% accuracy in testing your RPMs. So every once in a while, when you do your maintenance, include this and check your motors. Well, I hope I covered a lot for you here. I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know your thoughts and. Uh, your comments and don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll have some more videos out shortly. Thanks.